Welcome to Meco Graphics. This video is part of our Build Your CQ series. Today we're going to talk about how to use Smart Color. In the latest release of Meco Graphics for Windows, there are a variety of ways to use Smart Color to change the way colors are applied to your charts. And the way that you apply colors to your charts may influence the message of the chart. In this Merameco chart, the colors are applied to the series before the sort. Now, that may be okay with you, but some of you may have very strict brand standards that you have to adhere to when it relates to color. So if you go to the Preference Manager, you can see I have a palette. I'm going to open up that palette so you can see it. I have a palette that includes nine colors, and I've specifically chosen the draw order of those colors because I want them in the appropriate order when a chart is drawn. So, I'd like this chart to be colored after the sort. If I double click on the chart, choose chart from the Meco Graphics ribbon, I can choose a coloring mode of by series after sort, and now the series are actually drawn according to the draw order selected in my preference manager. Now let me show you another example of how you can change the colors to change the message in a Merameco chart. In this chart, the colors are already applied after sort, but I want the audience to focus on the difference between the sectors in the Dow Jones Industrial Average versus the individual stocks in the average. So let me show you how to do that. If you double click on the chart, again, choose chart to open the format chart task pane. In this case, I'm going to choose color by bars. Now you can see that the chart is colored where all of the series within a particular bar are the same color. So it changes the audience attention. Now we're focused on the differences between the sectors and not the individual stocks. I'm going to show you an example in a bar meco. So in a, this is a simple bar meco that shows average labor rates for different European countries and the bar width is GDP. And in this case, the chart does not have any color. All the bars are the same color. If I would like to change that, I can again select chart and simply choose to color by bar. In the older releases of Meco Graphics, you used to have to manually do that by right clicking on each bar. Now you can do it with just one click. Let me show you one more example. And this is how to use smart color in a bubble chart. This bubble chart shows consumption volume per capita and consumption growth for wine for different countries. And the bubble size is the population of that country. You can see that I've colored the bubbles based on their position on the chart. Now I could do that manually by right clicking each bubble and recoloring it, or I could do it more quickly by using groups. So if I double click on the chart and then I open the chart data sheet, you can see that there's a new column in the data sheet called group. And you can assign groups to each series and then the bubbles in that group will be automatically colored the same. So this allows me to point out the similarities between the different bubbles in a particular area of the chart. So in this case I could say China, the US, Australia, and Argentina are all markets where consumption volume per capita is below average but where consumption growth is positive. So those are some examples of how to use smart color to improve your charts. Thanks for watching.